Wait, no, right. <laughs> so, if I think about the follow then, of course, I, as I get to there, I feel like my leg moves on the line. That's under my body. I'm still on the same. I'm still on the same line. I haven't gone with my weight around it. You get it. So, what everything you dance in training, you think about that. Cut it, right? We'll cut it through all the time. Because that's why you've got that shape as well. Um, okay, now, then, can I have a little more music, please? But can I this time, yeah, have the same one again, please? The one you played last time? Alright. presenting the top of the curve. Then, if I bring her through for a little kick or something like that, I don't change my base. If I go into a lunge now from there, it's that action. I don't want any, and I don't want to get in on the, I am not the flower. Yeah. Right? I let the girl finish my line. Okay, so we've got that, those actions from there. You've got to get that knee over the foot. So I see sometimes I'll see that. And then when I turn, this goes out the back, looks like, looks like a golf swing. Right, so you're there, you've got to keep that foot. So that toe is pointing there, that toe is there. Okay? And when you change, if you change that into a lunge, right, that toe is there, that toe is there, so I'm not that. But above all, when I bring back in, I do not turn this and that, that, that foot line. Now, if you look at my head over that side, it looks wrong. If I put the hip and the leg back in position, it's right. So it's not what I'm doing wrong here, it's what I'm doing wrong in the foundation. Right, here we go. And. Right, kick. Come back, lunge. Good. Then, I've got what I call 
the, the lunge to the right or the hinge to the right where, where it looks as though you want to get rid of your girl. <laughs> you can't do that to a girl. Right. You have to have a body language and you've got to think about the line. Now, you see, when you're in a non-progressive moment in your choreography, you are open to such scrutiny from the judge. So everything has got to be absolutely clear. Nothing must be out of focus. Right? So we've got to think now. All judges are looking at this. Throw away all this way. No, no, we're doing the lunge, aren't we? Yes. Why you prompt me? So we're doing the lunge from there. Now, as I go into that, my body has a connection to my partner. Whether I want that shape or that shape. But I won't pull my head over there at the same time as I'm putting my partner into the line. So we finish that together. Crack. Now, this is the leg I'm starting to so I've now used that compression between us. So now for me, it's ladies first. Forward, slow, slow. Okay. Now I use Christina's body weight to create the speed. And I think that's something that toys, we, we've often done, I've done it myself, where we feel that we've got the power, it's a masculine dance, we have to do everything. But it's not true. And if you're clever, you use the girl much more. So these, these positions from here, if you watch, I'll give Christine the speed. Then I'll follow. Okay, create the space, follow. Done. Done. If I do things like, now, uh, the contra check, where, what is the weight distribution on a contra check? In the middle. 50, 50. Middle, straight up the middle, yeah, right. So what then, so we, you know what I suggest that we don't want them to do it. It's all on the front of it, right? So, how do we create that? Is that we, we've got to think about dancing down and around the supporting leg. Right? And when the girl, girls, as you dance in front of don't think backwards with your body. Think towards the man as the foot is moving out. Slow. Now, that line, the triangle is now at that angle. Right, so whatever we've done in these lines, I, I hope I have not lost my triangle. Okay? So that entry to the contract. It's a disaster if I move off the supporting leg. So I have to go down and around the supporting leg. Lady, you feel everything coming towards me, only the foot and the head will move. Correct. Right. So we've got minimum input for maximum output. We've got the speed, right, without having to be physical. Right, I want you all to come back on the floor again now, please. Oh, I've run out of time, haven't I? I'll just do this very quickly. What I want you to do is to throw away that little sway and bring your girls back to that position. Are you ready? Ready? And throw away the three and hold. Hold. Right. Now, bring the ladies back to the last position. Go. Right. Okay. Right. So, did anybody, did anybody, I'm talking to the girls now. Did any of your boys use their arms to bring you back? Yes, sir. If I'm in that throw away all I have to do is that. So what have I done? I've turned my upper body that way. And you've, you've got to have done that. Right? And you've played with the support side of the way. Now, they all come back. They always do. They turn up like a bad leg. They always come back. In actual fact, you want to feel like you bubble. Right. It's almost like a recoil action. Yeah. But if you hold them tight, there's no recoil. So do that throw away the gun. I'm going to let go of it. And right. so if you don't need those, those tight arms. One, two, three. Right, now let's try that. One, two, three. Ready? Here we go. Bang. 
Where are we on this organization? Go. Uh, one, two, three. <laughs> Okay. Right. That's better. That was better.